Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahawa. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahawa Shai, our Lord and our Savior. That Damashanaka Bala is a Komishar Sharalik, that will honest the elders of Israel, being the apostles. <clears throat> and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Washalawan Wahabla Bakir Shah Yasharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson by Harukha Qurash Maf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And this is just going to be a prophecy update, prophecy in the news type of video. Uh, just giving you an update on where we at. Um, that's the uh, spirit that we are in here at Great Millstone. That's the spirit that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has us in, okay, because uh, he has um, put his word, with, he has put the word of prophecy within us. Second Ezra, the 15 chapter says, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put into your mouth. Okay, so this is all <clears throat> through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Revelation is the 19th chapter, the 10th verse. All right, the angel was speaking to John and said, worship uh, the heavenly father for the spirit. Matter of fact, we'll just start off with that. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 19 and verse 10. It says, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant. And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Worship Yahweh. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai Mashiach is the spirit of prophecy. And that's that, that's the spirit that we're in. Okay? The spirit of prophecy. Why? Because we have been given, have been gifted the testimony of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay? So we are sent to this earth to speak his word. Alright? To declare what he's about to do upon this uh world. As it says in the book of Jeremiah, the first chapter says, I have ordained you a prophet. Before I formed you in the belly, I knew thee. Okay? And along with us being prophets, okay, uh, uh, along with us being ordained to be prophets, ordained to push this message, this word, <clears throat> comes with protection. Okay? Uh, in the book of Isaiah, the Lord said that ye are my witnesses. Okay? Now, uh, and we're testifying against this devil. Okay? So, the Lord has us in witness, uh, uh, in the witness protection program. Right? Let's say you've seen the, um... You've seen a crime happen, right? You witness a crime happen and uh, you need to testify against the criminal. The police will put you in a protection program to keep you safe. Well, that's, the, uh, uh, that's what the Lord has us in. He has us a in a protection program, but we don't need to be in private. We out in the open, but still protected. I did a video a few weeks ago. Protection for the election. We out on the open, right? Every week we go out there on the highways and byways in public on a busy ass street, all right? In the chief place of concourse, but still protected, okay? Doing these videos, putting it up on the internet public for everybody to see, but still protected. All right, let's get that in Jeremiah. <clears throat> this is Jeremiah chapter 1. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. So every prophet has this story. Every prophet was ordained from the womb. Okay? It, it goes into that in the book of Ephesians. How the Lord predestinated us. Preordained us. Right? To push, to, to believe in this word and to push this word. Okay, so let's jump to the point. This is Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 18. I'll start at verse 17. It says, Thou therefore gird up thy loins and arise and speak unto them all that I command thee. And that's what we're doing. We're speaking what the Lord commands us. We can't be speaking. It says, Scripture saying, Proverbs, lean not to thy own understanding. Okay? But in all thy ways acknowledge Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. This is all the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And that's why we say we have 100% truth. Jeremiah had 100% truth. When he was going and prophesying to the nations and prophesying to Israel, it wasn't partial truth. It was the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Same with Isaiah. Same with Ezekiel. Same with Habakkuk. Same with Obadiah. And all the rest of the prophets. Same with the, the men in the New Testament. The prophets in the New Testament. Such as Peter. Okay? John. James. Okay? Andrew. All the disciples. All the believers. John the Revelator. Okay? It says, <clears throat> And speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound thee before them. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city. Right? That's that protection. He's going to protect his elect in these trying times to come. All right? It's going to be hell on earth. Chaos. Like the elder Malcolm said, chaos is going to ensue. 
Okay? All out lawlessness. No order. All right? And we're seeing the beginning stages of it. It's going to be, hey, really, it's going to be a hot winter. All right? Meaning a lot of shit is going to be popping off, all right, in the next few months. This shit's not slowing down. The, the, the global supply chain is broken. There's no way to heal it. That's that Jeremiah we read uh, in the lesson yesterday. You cannot heal Babylon. There's no bomb for this place. There's nothing you can do to bring it back. And the elites know it. The elites of this world, they know it, that this place is over with. That's why Revelations 12 and 12 says what it says. The devil shall come down having great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time. Your time is up, devil. Your time is up, Esau, Edom. And it's our time. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Our king, Yahweh Shai, is on his way to redeem us. Redemption draw off night. Okay, salvation is nearer than we believe, which is all synonymous with your destruction, with the end of your world. Matthew 24, the disciples came unto Yahweh Shai privately and asked them, what shall be the signs of thy coming and of the end of your world? When Yahweh Shai comes, he's going to end this place and he's going to restore the kingdom back onto Israel. And we're going to have everything and the whole earth is going to be given into us and we're going to rule being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai Mashiach in righteousness for eternity. Never to be destroyed. Never to be brought down. <clears throat> We're just going to constantly expand. Okay? The Lord is going to turn us into gods. Immortals. Incorruptible beings. We won't be able to get sick. Alright? We won't, we won't feel no hurt, no pain. As the scriptures say. It says, Be not this, uh, Jeremiah 1 and 18. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city and an iron pillar and bracing walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. And they shall fight against thee. This devil is going to come against us. Right? This devil, the whole world is going to come against us. In, In John the seventh chapter, it says that the whole world hated Yahweh Shai because... Let me read that. This is St. John chapter 7 and verse 7. It says, The world cannot hate you, but me it hate it, because I testify of it, that the works thereof are evil. And we're doing the same thing. We're testifying against this present evil world. This whole world, as it says in 1 John, the whole world lieth in wickedness. So we're against this place. Okay? That's putting a target on our back, and that's another lesson that I got. In the roller decks, right? But this is back in Jeremiah chapter 1 <clears throat> and verse 19. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. But yeah, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Lord is going to lift up a standard. Right? They're not going to win. The victory is ours as long as we abide in Yahweh Shai Mashiach. For I am with thee, saith the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, to deliver thee. The Lord is with us to deliver us from everything that's coming down the uh, uh coming down the line. He's with us to deliver us. Uh, <clears throat> he's with us to deliver us from the famine. He's with us to deliver us from the earthquakes. He's with us to deliver us from all the uh, so-called natural disasters that's gonna come upon this place. All the different plagues that's gonna come upon this place. He is with us. I am now Allah. Okay, our power is with us. And he will never leave us nor forsake us as long as we continue to serve him in truth and in sincerity and believe in him and trust in him and walk in his fear. Look at the generations of old. Has ever any trusted in the Lord and was confounded? Has ever any abided in his fear and was forsaken? Has ever any called upon his name and was despised? Not now one of them. Okay? All we have to do is continue to trust in his word. So, <clears throat> I got this article. On RT, and I'm gonna touch up on a, on a couple articles. It's a prophecy update, right? Better late than never. NYC mayor announces last minute vaccine mandate for all city workers. For all city workers, all right. And the apostles been talking about this before there was uh, before 2019, before 2020, before you even knew about the the uh, uh, the Rona, right? The C19. Before you even knew about that, the apostles been saying this is how things are gonna go down. Through what? Through the Spirit that Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai has put upon them. The Lord said, "I will, uh, um, I will give you pastors according to my own heart." He said, uh, "The Scripture said that I shall see thy teachers." Okay, 
I will set up watchmen upon thy walls, which shall never hold their peace. I will give you shepherds, which shall not leave you lacking. Okay? He said, confirm the word of your messenger in the book of Isaiah. Let thy prophets be found faithful. And that's exactly what we're seeing uh, uh, taking place. In Ezekiel, it says, I, I, the Lord, will speak a word and perform it in your days. He spoke the word through the mouth of his men, through the mouth of his prophets, his messengers, starting with the apostles and the elders. And now we're in the time of the Lord performing his word. Of all these things happening, the apostles been saying it's going to start off in sections, right? <clears throat> it's going to be gradualism. As we're seeing taking place versus just the people that work for the governments, the people that uh, uh, in the White House. All mandatory. All y'all got to take it, right? Then it trickles down, okay, to this group of people, to that group of people, all right, to the celebrities. The, the apostles are saying the celebrities is going to be used to 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 promote the um to the to promote the karagma, okay. And we're seeing that take place with this jab. With this jab is just a prelude to the uh, karagma. The jab, as I always say, the jab sets up the cross. The one sets up the two. All right. So it says New York mayor. This is published on October 20th, 2021. New York mayor Bill de Blasio <clears throat> has warned city employees they have until the start of next month to begin getting vaccined. A previous rule had allowed for weekly testing on employees dying for those Reluctant to get the jab. All city workers, including cops and firefighters, which in Chicago, they lost about 3,000 cops, 3,000 police officers, and 1,000 firefighters due to the uh, uh, the mandate of the jab out there. Okay, which, Lord's will, we'll get into an article uh, 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 briefly going into that. So, all hell was going to break out loose all around this country and and. and um, all around the world, really. But we're going to focus on Babylon, all right? America, who, who who ought to be destroyed. Happy shall he be, right? To take thy little ones and dash them to pieces. That's Psalms 138. All city, I believe it's 138, could be 139. Don't quote me. All city workers, including cops and firefighters, are required to get their first jab by 5 p.m. on October 29th. The mayor announced on Wednesday during an appearance on MSNBC's Morning Joe, anyone who hasn't received at least their first shot <laughs> at least their first shot by November 1st will be placed on unpaid leave until they submit to the needle. Until they submit to the needle. So what we're going through right now, we're going through a siege. Okay, the beginning stages of a siege. And I, I did a lesson on that through the Spirit and Power Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai a few weeks ago. We are, in, we are in the beginning stages of the last siege of Jerusalem. Now, when you look up the word siege, it's a military tactic. It's a war tactic, right? To get the people <clears throat> within the city, a town or area to submit to the will of that army, right? So what we see taking place is Esau Edom getting hold of all supplies not only is he getting hold of all supplies but he's also forcing you out of your job forcing you out of your livelihood all for what to get you to submit to get you to bow down but we are not of them that draw back unto perdition but of them that believe to the saving of our, of our soul we're gonna lift up our shield of faith to keep us from the fiery darts of this devil Okay, the Lord said in the book of Romans, the 11th chapter, that he has 7,000 men that has not bowed the knee to buy all. I don't want to write this out. We are those men in these last days. That's not going to bow our knee. No matter what circumstances, we will not submit to this devil. Like Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the whole world, everybody, all the, ba all the niggas in the Babylonian, uh, um, under the Babylonian rulership, they was all bowing and worshiping that damn um, um, idol. Okay. They all bowed and took a knee to that false ass, fake ass God, man. But Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego also known as the three holy children, the three holy sons. They stood their ground and they kept their faith in Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, and they were delivered from the fire. They were delivered from the fiery furnace that was turned up seven times more. And there was not any smoke, uh, there was not any smell of smoke uh, 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 upon them, man. 
Because guess who was with them when those three was thrown into the uh, fire? One like unto the Son of Man, Yahweh Shai was with them. So if we keep our faith, Yahweh Shai is going to be with us. Going back to that Jeremiah. That he is with us to deliver us. We are a defense city. We are as iron pillars. They shall fight against us, but they shall not be able to prevail. Alright, all praises to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. Give us more faith. Please. Okay? All city workers, including cops and firefighters, are required to get their first jab by, by uh, 5 p.m. October 29th. The mayor announced on Wednesday during, and yeah, we already read all that, right? Uh, be placed on unpaid leave until they submit to the needle. So there's a lot of people that's going to submit. We're going to see a lot of people submit. So at one point they say 50% of the um, Chicago uh, police force was put on unpaid leave. That's going to dwindle. We're going to see uh, after being on unpaid leave, we're going to see people start to submit. Right. Just like we've seen Andrew Wiggins submit. We've seen Cam Newton submit. All right. People who was once, these are just so-called celebrities, right? Professional athletes who was once against this uh, uh, jab who eventually submitted when push came to shove, right? And them niggas is making millions. So how much more of these niggas that's making, you know, 70000 a year, right? Who need Who's going to feel it right away? You're going to feel that a couple weeks of not being paid, you're going to feel that shit right away. Okay, so they're going to begin to bow. They're going to be, begin to submit. <clears throat> we need to reassure all New Yorkers that and this this is <laughs> the thing is, is people actually believe this is real. This is not some this is not about a disease. This is not some this is not about some type of illness that's out there and it's killing majority of people on the earth. It's not about that. Okay. This is about this is a hidden agenda behind all this that we see going on. It's about the devil trying to once again establish his wicked NWO, which he will fail sadly. Right? We need to reassure all New Yorkers that if you're working with a public employee, they're maxine. Everyone is going to be safe. De Blasio explained. If you have the jab, shouldn't you be safe? Isn't that what the jab is for? Right? To protect you. From this particular ailment. You should already be safe. You stupid damn American. Americans are the stupidest people ever known in history man. Alright. No jab. No job. No way. Alright. So the point of this is, is that it's going to be enforced. Alright. Let's read a little bit more. I'll read a couple more paragraphs. The move comes amid growing number of breakthrough infections among high profile Jab recipients. So if you got the jab, why are you getting infected? The current crop includes Department of Homeland Security Director Alejandro Mayorkas. While former Secretary of State Colin Powell recently died of 19 related co complications despite being vaccine. So why? Why? <laughs> you stupid damn people. You forcing everybody to get the jab and it doesn't even work. Niggas is still dying from it, which I got another article going into that, right? Adding a carrot to the penalizing stick of unpaid leave, de Blasio announced those uh, uh, municipal employees who took the initiative and got their first shot within the next week would receive a $500 bonus, right? So they're giving incentive, okay? Again, we've heard this from the apostles before all this shit popped off. That they will be giving incentives to take the to, to take the karagma. So everything that we're seeing going on with this jab, it's gonna be the same story with the two. Alright, with the cross, with the karagma. Alright, they're gonna give you incentives and they're gonna create this big boogeyman to uh, uh convince you you need to have this. Right? And the story, the narrative is already um taking place. It's already leading to that, to that, to that backhand, to that karagma. About 83% of the city's 300,000 employees are currently vaccined. Uh, though police officers and firefighters are less likely to have received the jab nationwide, 79% of adults have reportedly received a vaccine. And of those affected by the Blasio's new mandate, 71% have already had at least one shot. 
All right, so that's pretty much it. Again, it's on RT News. You can read more if you would like. Blacklistednews.com. It ain't going to be just uh, just looking at this picture. This ad ain't going to be. We're coming into some radical times. Okay? It's not going to be going to the nail shop, getting my hair did, living my best life, shaking my ass all around the world for these women. Okay? It's not going to be none of that. Okay? Gonna be trying to beat niggas off of you, all right? Or not beat niggas. You're gonna try to keep them off of you. You're gonna try to survive, all right? Because you're not gonna be able to keep a grown man off of you. Your ass is 5'4, 135 pounds. You're not gonna keep a grown man off of you, okay? Oh, maybe you, you're a little bit heavier than that, a little bit taller than that, all right? But there's gonna be multiple niggas, okay? Searching out. Women that they was following on OnlyFans, paying all type of money, or women that they seen on Instagram, they slid in the DMs and was curved. She put she screenshotted his message and put it on her and put it on her damn story and was crumbing him. He didn't forget about that. He's waiting for his time. Okay? And when all these police officers is off the force and these niggas start quitting. Okay, cause with, with when you have um lack of staff, guess what the the people that showed up to work have to do? They have to work that much harder. They have to stay that much later. Soon them niggas gonna be like, "Fuck this, I'm out of here, I quit." Right? So when that continues, when this continues to take place, we're gonna see the crime go through the roof, right? And all these big booty thoughts is gonna be targets, right? That big fat booty is going to be a big fat target, right? It says the everything shortage. Why is everything so expensive and out of stock? Again, I'm just briefly going over these. <clears throat> October 20th, 2020, 2021. So where the words at? Okay, well, I guess something's wrong with this article. Or it's just a video. Maybe it's just a video. I'm not gonna play the video. Alright. But it's it's the everything shortage. Everything there's a shortage on everything. Absolutely everything. Right? Which if there's a shortage on something, that means the price of that something is going to go up. Okay? We're going to see that continue. Because it's already happening. Niggas just don't know. Niggas is too, too caught up in their bullshit ass life. To realize that all hell has already begun. To break out loose. The Lord is releasing the winds. In the book of Revelations, the 7th chapter. It says. Let's read it. Revelation 7 and verse 3. I'll start at 1. Revelation 7 and 1. It says, And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. So there's angels that's been given the authority to hurt this place, to bring damage upon this earth, right? But that's being held back, okay? They got the order to hold on, don't do it just yet, okay? Until what happens, until what takes place. Verse 3, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And the servants are being sealed through what? Through this word being broadcasted throughout the four corners of the earth. It says in the book of Corinthians that the, it pleased the Lord to save them. It pleased the Lord by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Okay? And this word has been broadcasted. Have they not heard? Yes, verily, there's sound in all the world. 
All right. So the servants is being sealed, which means the winds, the destruction is being uh, loosed. It's getting breezy out here. Right. And, and that's the point. And the, the servants of the Lord is all Israelites. That's what the rest of the chapter goes into. So let's go back into these articles. I wanted to touch on this one. Millions of Americans are getting fired for not taking a jab that's now 3% effective. All right. Published also October 20, 2021. Uh, CNN is reported reporting that a new study involving over 600,000 veterans has found that Johnson & Johnson's uh, jab protection fell from 88% in March to 3% in August. All right. So it's not effective. It's not going to protect you from nothing. It was never meant to protect you from anything. All right. Again, there's a hidden agenda behind forcing you and mandating this. Um, I'm trying to exit this damn shit, man. This jab. All right. Throughout all throughout all this time of this so-called plague. Right? The C-19. And they've been talking about they want everybody to be healthy. Right? They're concerned about everybody's safety. Alright? If that was the case, you should be promoting a healthier lifestyle. Instead, they're giving you donuts. Alright? They're giving you donuts so that you can... uh uh. If you get the jab, right? Nothing healthy about a damn donut. Okay, they should be telling you to practice fasting. They should be telling you to change your diet. Okay? These are different things that keep that strengthen your immune system. But instead, what do they do? This this is not this jab is not to keep you healthy. This jab is not to keep you safe. This jab is to further destroy you. All right. It says his words were smooth as butter, but war was in his heart. All right. That's in the book of Psalms. War is in this devil's heart. He doesn't want you to be healthy. He's not promoting longevity. If that was the case, why is he still pushing chemtrails every single damn day? Breaking down your immune system. Okay. And that's exactly what this job is doing also. It's breaking down your immune, your immune system. And he pretty much hijacked you. He hijacked your body, all right? And we're going to see that in the near future where all these people that got the jab, they're going to start bugging out. Uh, last, I think it was last week. could have been earlier this week. <clears throat> I did a video. Um, It was uh, Lamb backing off um, a video that the elder Mwatizak out there in L.A., he did a video off, off of TikTok of a man. He asked a question, and he said, uh, has anybody see any differences in the personality traits of people that you know that received the jab? You go on the comment board and everybody's saying, yes, they're different. They're more aggressive. They're less humane. Okay, they, all they can talk about is the Maxine. <clears throat> okay? They're different. Okay? And we're going to see how just how different they are when Esau Edom uh, 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 turns, turns up the heat. Okay, when the Lord uses Esau Edom to turn up the heat, because Esau Edom can't do shit unless the Lord allows him to, because he's nothing but a piece of shit, and he's going to perish forever like his own dung. The triumphing of the wicked is short and but for a moment. Job 20. All right. It says a study published Thursday reported uh, uh, a study published Thursday reported a steep decline in jab effectiveness against infection by August of this year, especially for people who received the JJ jab CNN reported over the weekend the researchers found that among more than 600,000 veterans JJ JJ's jab protection fell from 88% to uh, in March to only 3% in August all right so you not I'm damn sure not taking that man fuck out of here do what you want fire me okay big deal I've been waiting for y'all to do that um, trafficking victim. They made me have sex with cops. 
a woman who claims she was sex trafficked from Costa Rica to the United States, says she was victimized by the very people who were supposed to help her, the local police. Right, so these cops ain't shit, man. You, they try to paint this picture like cops are are, are these you know law abiding city uh, law abiding citizens. You know they're uh, stand up guys and, and so on and so forth. Man, they're all a bunch of pieces of shit. All right, study published on uh, right study published on NIH website finds no discernible relationship between vaccine status and Rona cases says infection rate may be higher among fully maxed. January 6th. That's nothing. Cincinnati Zoo announces a jab of 80 animals, which that's also happening out here in uh, Des Moines where we're at. Okay, they're, they're putting that poison into the animals. All right, they always... You know, they're always doing that shit. A lot of them animals already got um, microchips in them. Matter of fact, uh, I was at the zoo this past summer and I, and I seen tags, uh, different tags on um, some of the animals that they had. So it's already there. Okay. Pope demands Silicon Valley in the name of God censor hate speech conspir and conspiracy theories. So this this Pope, all right, or poop, that's, that's what they should call him. Okay. The Catholic poop. And that's what he looks like too. Like some bird poop. He's not a man. This is not a man of God. Okay. This is not what Peter looked like. This is not what King David looked like. This is not what the men of the Lord looked like. This is a damn devil. This is what Esau looks like. This is what the devil looks like. A straight creep. Alright. Pope Francis invoked God in an effort to pressure Silicon Valley giants into censoring more content, including hate speech and conspiracy theories. What well, the Bible teaches us about hate speech. It says, they that fear the Lord. Let's get a couple of them precepts. Um... This phone, man, always tripping. I'm going to just go find one. Ciroc, 15, 13. The Lord hateth all abomination, and they that fear Yahweh love it not. All right, so we're supposed to hate. There's certain things that we're supposed to hate. All right, it says, uh, that's an Amos. Hate the evil. This is Amos chapter 5 and verse 15. Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. So you're supposed to hate evil and you're supposed to love good. And they're going to deem us as, um, as a hate group. And... Uh, to a certain extent, we do hate. We hate evil. All right? Like the Bible teaches us to do. We hate evil and we love good. It just so happens, all right, that this world is full of evil. That the people that's in rulership are evil. All right? So they're going to try to condemn us for, uh, 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 for condemning their evilness, their wicked acts. And establish judgment in the gate, which is what we do through the spirit and power. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shot. Going out there on the highways and byways is establishing judgment in the gate. Putting uh, uh, these lessons on the, uh, on the internet is establishing judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord Yahweh of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. All right, so that's that. That's a cut on Pope Francis. Billionaire supermarket owner warns food prices will go up tremendously. All right. The owner of a New York City supermarket chain predicted the food prices will increase sharply in the coming months. It's here, man. It's fucking here. We're at the end. 
I did a uh, lesson the other day, pretty much the end. I think it was yesterday. Yep, the, uh, it was yesterday, the end of life as you know it. And there were some scriptures that I, I I meant to I meant to read, but you know the spirit didn't have me read it. I put it on the comment board, but I'm gonna read them now, real quick, just on that. Right, in the upcoming months, the food prices is gonna skyrocket. Give me one second. This first Peter chapter four and seven, it says, but the end of all things is at hand. Be ye sober and watch unto prayer. This is about to happen in the next in a few months. Hyperinflation is going to take place. All right. The prices of your everyday necessities is going to skyrocket, is going to go up, increase tremendously. Right. This is the end of all things. So we need to be what? We need to be sober and we need to continue to watch and pray that we escape these things that's coming upon the earth. Escape the said perils. Ezekiel 7 and 5. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, and evil and only evil, behold, is come. Verse 6. An end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. All right. It's here. The end of everything is here. What we've been talking about is here. It's coming to pass. The Lord is performing his word. This is real. This is not a drill. All right. So we need to make sure that we're ready. It says those that were ready went in with him. All right. And we get ready by doing everything that we can for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah on a daily on a day to day basis. All right. Uh, the scriptures Yahweh Shah said the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So watch and pray. That's how we strengthen our spirit. We continue to stay in the scriptures. We continue to uh, uh, measure it out of time diligently within itself. That's watching. We continue to pray fervently for mercy. We continue to pray fervently for faith, for forgiveness, for strength. All right? To, to, uh, uh, to be drawn closer to our power. Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. All right? Biden secretly flying underage migrants into NY in dead of the night. Joe Rogan accuses Google of hiding information of jab deaths. All right, so Washington State football coach fired for refusing jab. All right, so this is it, man. We're, we're at the end of this. Okay? Oh, let's touch on this one. We'll wrap it up. Chicago mayor accuses police union of trying to induce an insurrection over jab mandate. Uh, this is an uh, insurrection is about to pop out, about to break loose. All right. In Chicago and in, in all, especially in uh, these bigger, um, these bigger cities. All right. These bigger cities who's losing a lot of their police force due to this mandate. Insurrections are going to take place, which that is prophecy. Let's grab that. This is the book of Second Ezra is chapter 15 and verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people in the next few months, we're going to see as the food prices go up, violence is going to go up. People, nigga, as the food prices go up, niggas money, uh, niggas paycheck ain't going up. All right. And it's a shortage of everything. So the price of everything is going to going to go up, not just food, but also uh, uh, gas. Okay, any supplies that you need is all going to increase, all right? Along with your rent, along with your, you know, all, all these different bills that you have to take care of, those are all going to increase while your paycheck is going to stay the same. And really, your paycheck is going to get weaker because the value of the dollar is, uh, 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 is decreasing, all right? So violence is going to increase tremendously within these next few months. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and in invading one another. Yeah, home invasion. Elder Malcolm have been using that specific term um, in, in his recent videos. A lot in his recent videos. Home invasions. Now, what are you single, independent, don't need a nigga for nothing type of women going to do when niggas start invading your house? You may, let's say you get through one, one invasion. Some weak nigga had a knife and you had your pink gun and, and, and you got lucky. What about the next time? All right. Well, there's a couple niggas. All right. And they didn't come in with knives. They came in with guns this time. Right. 
and you out of bullets, okay? Because that after that first nigga, you and the clip. All right, all hell is gonna break out loose. So let's say you got a man, all right, a a, a well established man, right? One of them high value niggas, okay, making six figures. When a group of niggas, a small army. Five niggas, script say they shall search, uh, three or four shall be left, and they shall search the house with the sword. In the, and also in the book of Second Ezra, all right, it says that the virgin shall mourn having no bridegroom for the wars. We're in the, it's a time for everything, as Ecclesiastes says, a time for everything under the sun, all right, a time for peace and a time for war. We're not in the time of peace, we're in the time of war, okay? Not just America going to war with these other countries, all right? But war within America. This place is divided. All right? Sedition and insurrection will break out loose. It says, For there shall be sedition among men in invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Well, let's get this one. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 16 and verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So insurrection is going to take place. All right. We're coming into the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. So again, I, I, we're already 40 minutes in. I don't want to touch too much on this. That's She's a demon. She's a walking demon. Lori Lightfoot. But yeah, you can look this up again. This is a, um, a fuck with this site. Blacklisted news. It got a different, a, a bunch of different articles from different sites and dif different sources going into what's going on, right? What the news ain't gonna tell you. What the what the, uh, the the mainstream news isn't gonna tell you. But Lord willing, that was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachacharash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Rachacharash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide this word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. To the elders of Israel being the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahab, Labaki, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, Makim, your brothers keep on pushing. Stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draweth nigh, and redemption's nearer than we believe. Shalom, Akiyam.